these you're getting too good at these you know you know heavy questions I'm not on mastermind or something <laughs> I recently read the state of nature report I'm sorry I apologize for putting on silly voices as there are some I don't know what this person sounded like could be a woman I recently read no don't don't no. sorry normal serious voice because it is a serious question I originally read the State of Nature report and it said that 6,000 species have been assessed using the red list criteria and more than one in ten are thought to be under threat of extinction in the UK. Are species really under the threat of extinction? That's actually a very good question. A lot of words in the first bit and I do think sometimes statements are actually so cluttered with words and extra syllables you can't exactly figure out what they're saying. And I think that's the implication here. Yeah, okay, they say they're going to be extinct, but are they really going to be extinct? Extinction means they cease to exist. And very often it's misused, especially a report on a certain area. So, they, you know, it needs qualifying. They say, oh, such and such word, uh, redback strike is extinct. And they say, no, it isn't extinct it's extinct in Britain. We just don't have them here anymore. And so I think that is largely what this, that report, um, the State of Nature report, which came out last year, is, is, that's what it means by that. It means there's a chance we will lose that species as a breeding species in Britain. And that's undeniably true. I don't think there's any doubt about that, that there's, there's quite a few species which have only got a few left here and may not come back next year if they're migrants, for example. But um, on the other hand, chances are that they're reasonably common somewhere else. I mean, I'll give you a good example. Uh, two examples, in a way, almost the same thing. One is the house sparrow, which is getting scarce in the south in Britain. <coughs> and the other is the tree sparrow, which has always, for the last 10 years ago, has been a species that people are really worried about. We're losing our tree sparrows. But they might become extinct in Britain, but they're certainly rare. But if you go across the world, first of all, you'll see house sparrows everywhere, from Argentina to Japan, to Australia, to wherever, you know, to Iceland. They, you will see house sparrows. And yet, here's the extraordinary thing. They're, they're not native birds, those areas. They've actually spread, probably from Britain and, and Europe. So they're not really extinct in that sense. And tree sparrows are incredibly common when you go to, over to Asia. There's great big flocks of tree sparrows all over the place, you know. And it, it often makes me think, in the whole business of conservation, you know, does it matter if a bird goes extinct in one place but is doing absolutely fine in another? Is that money well spent? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs>